you just gotta come outside and fight. I said, bring the bear maids, cause there's some bears out here, and I'm a tiger, we ready to fight. You got a beating for fighting? Go on with the wind, windmill. You're weird. I look around, I feel like an animal in a zoo. Everybody recording. Why is everybody recording me? Ah! Everybody get me. I'm embarrassed, like, again, like, this is, like, this is, for me, like, one of the most embarrassing, maybe, mm, I wouldn't say this is the most embarrassing story time. I feel like, I feel like, personally, like, my most embarrassing story times is probably, I don't know, I couldn't tell you, like, what's my most embarrassing story time. Like, they really tried to give that guy guy, and that guy guy just was, like, throwing up. Like, I don't know what it was doing, but it just was not doing what it was supposed to be doing. Today's story time is basically going to be the first time I have ever got jumped by somebody's sister and brother. Or not. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Okay? Let me go ahead and set the scenery for y'all. So, this was maybe my 11th grade year. No. Was it? Yes. It was my 11th grade year of high school. I was just about to get out of high school. And it was the summertime. No. This was, this was like the week before school ended. Was it? It was like a week before school ended. Maybe. It was this boy. We're going to name him Max. And we're going to name his sister Ruby. So, Max and Ruby used to go to my school for a very long time but I they were military kids and I believe they thought they were like bullies in my opinion um every single time we used to get on the bus because I used to get on the cheese bus he used to always like beef with the bus driver and if he wasn't beef with the bus driver he used to beef with the kids on the bus so it was like he was always bullying them kids like he used to tell them kids get out my seat like when people got a lot of mouth usually they cannot fight we never see you fight but we always see you do like this now the school I went to was very uh I would say not what I was used to going to because I went to school more, you know, I went to school more crazier kids than him. So it was like he never scared me. But he always irritated me. Now, just to give you intel, I used to sit on the front of the bus, the very, very front of the bus. I'm talking behind the bus driver. I never sat in the back of the bus personally because I just felt like I didn't like those kids. Like it was, it was like I was genuinely at a point where I did not like those kids. Like those kids were so like annoying to me. They always gave off like corny vibes. Like I just didn't like those kids or whatever. I used to always sit in the front of the bus because I didn't want them to ever think the conversation was going to be farther than nothing. Like, I did not like those kids. So I used to sit all the way in the front of the bus. Every single time I used to hear him, he used to cuss the bus driver out. Mind you, our bus driver was like 96 years old. I'm like, he's just trying to get his money and go home. And here you are cussing the bus driver out. You're weird. Like, why are you cussing the bus driver out? Never really paid him no mind. One day we were in school and I remember it was him and a whole bunch of boys sitting in the hallway. So it was like him and these boys and I'm walking down the hallway and I'm like, like, excuse y'all. We talk about some, oh, that couldn't be me. Now this is where me and Max argument started at. This is where we started to have beef for some reason. So I'm like, Max, please, like, it could be you. Like, it could be you. But now it's you. What, what are you going to do? So in the hallway, I'm like, it's you now. Like, what are you going to do now? So I guess he felt like he, you know, we had beef or whatever like that. Because I told him it could be you. And it was him. Because I said, okay, well, no, excuse you. Because, like, what? Y'all standing in the middle of the hallway. And one of my biggest pet peeves when I was in school was when people would stand in the hallway as if we were not trying to get to class. About ringing whistle burning move like go to class go do your work like why are you sitting in a hallway like what about ever like move out the way so me and max i guess we had beef turns out the end of that summer is we were walking home i remember i used to get smart with him all the time you want beef me one thing about it i'm gonna give you i'm gonna give you beef i, 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 I don't like chicken i don't like chicken i'm gonna give you beef so what's up I remember telling him when we was walking up behind, I was cracking slick, like, yeah, Max or Ruby ain't gonna do nothing. Like, I, I was telling him and his sister, like, Max or Ruby are not gonna do nothing. Y'all, y'all not the stuff. Like, who do y'all think y'all are? Like, y'all not that, y'all not it. And they just used to be crying walking up the hill. Now, we're right on the curb, he used to be talking about me to, like, him and his friends. And I wouldn't even say these were his friends because when he was about to fight, they were nowhere to be found. And even if they were to be found, they was on the sideline. Like, nobody helped him fight, him or his sister. So, anyway, we're right on the curb, him or his sister did not like me. They did not like me. Cool. I don't care. They was talking about me to like boys that sit in the back of the bus. I do not care. I don't care. We still got beef. What? I remember seeing him in school. I never liked him. I used to always like, yeah, we got beef. But I wanted you to know it never was chicken. It was always beef. The end of summer comes. It's finally time for the year to be over. I think we like maybe like a week to school is over. So this is maybe like a Monday or a Tuesday and we get to the bus. Our bus ride used to be somewhat the same. We used to go to the same. We used to be on the same bus. We used to walk in the same neighborhood. We used to be on the same bus, period. I never went to school like all of the days. So it was like if school ended that Friday, I literally used to leave school. Like I used to stop going to school on a Monday. So if school was ended that Friday, I used to leave school that Monday. And boom, I was just done with it. Like, I'm done with school. It's Monday. I'm ready to go. Like, I, I, I always left, like, 
but for all the other kids and i guess they took that as like if i was scared of them or something i'm like like what are y'all like are y'all crazy who is scared of any of these kids like y'all weirdos so i get off the bus a stop before my usual stop mind you me and a boy usually get off at the same stop or whatever that's how we used to be or i don't know if the beef was one side but i always had beef so that's how we used to be because me and him used to get off at the same stop this time i had got off at an earlier stop this was my last day of school this was on a monday and it was like yeah he better get off at this stop i said oh who is Ruby talking to? So his sister thought so crack six so I walk back up in the bus, like, who are you talking to? And she's like, Yeah, you better get off at this stop. And I'm like, girl, like nobody's scared of you. You're literally a weirdo. Like, please get out my face. Nobody cares about what you're talking about. Fast forward into the next day. He still got beef. Cool, cool. We go back and forth. I never followed any of these kids on social media, so it wasn't like gonna be one of those gaga stories where I went back and forth with them on social media because I don't know them. I don't follow them on social media. All I knew is they was weirdo middle tar kids that always had something to say that was always crackers. And I promise you, I was the farthest thing from the one. Like, I wasn't. I get off at the second stop again. This is my last day of school. This is my officer's last day of school. It was on a Tuesday. Our last day of school was Friday. I was done. I was over it. I said, this is my last day. So, on my last day, I had got off at the second stop. I'm like, I just want to, you know, take my time. I'm, I want to take my time getting home. Like, this is my last day. I want to reminisce. Like, this is almost, this is my year prior to my senior year. Like, I'm going to be done with high school. I, I, I. I get off at the stop before my stop. One word about them. I promise you, they were not a thought in my brain. So, I remember at this time, we were going between bus drivers. So, our bus driver was usually, like, the old man or the young man. Today, that day, I think it was, like, the young man. So, they got off the bus. This time, she was like, yeah, you better get off at this bus stop. Ruby, his sister. So I'm like, oh, I went back up on that bus. I said, oh, like, y'all not scary. Like, y'all don't scare me like y'all scare these other people. So, boom. Both him and his sister get off the bus. When I say it was so many people out there, I never seen so many kids in my life in this neighborhood. They were coming out of back neighborhoods, side neighborhoods, doors. It was so many people out there. And I was like, what the like, oh my gosh, like, everybody's this person to see me fight. Like, I know I'm, I'm not Mike Tyson. Not, like, why are y'all so proud? I'm walking up the hill. At this point, I see that him and his sister was there. They were not going to jump me. So I called my sister. I'm like, oh, I got somebody for you. Because my thing about it, I was never scared to fight him. I just didn't want y'all to jump me out there when I was by myself. So I said, cool, come up the hill. I'm going to call my sister. So the whole time I'm going to phone my sister, my sister went answer the phone. Finally, she picks up the phone. I'm like, come down here. Bring the motherfucker. I said, bring the bear maze because it's some bears out here. And I'm a tiger. We ready to fight. <sighs> she started walking down or whatever. Like, she's like, I'm on my way. I'm on my way. We were right close because the hill maze was like right here. My sister was like right here. So she's walking down and I'm walking up. So she's like, where you at? I tell her where I'm at. And I tell her, boy, like, come up the hill. Come up the hill. Y'all, it was like thousands of kids like parading behind him. So I pulled out my maze. Like, back up. Back up. Back up. Dang, back up. <laughs> They still want to see fight, like, move. I, I don't want to mace you because I don't want to go to jail. Like, leave me alone. Like, just let me be. Let me go home. The lady come out there like, guys, what's going on? Y'all just go home. Oh, no, baby. It's hellfire behind me, bitch. I don't think you understand. So we get to the top of the hill or whatever like that. And finally, my sister comes and she meets us. Ruby, the one that had so much to say, scooted down like a mouse. He called his mom. That's not my mother, bitch. I never called my mother. That was not my mom. So, boy, I'm like, yeah, bitch. Like, you wanted to, yeah. So I pulls out my mace again, because at this point, I'm done. I'm about to mace him. Pulls out the mace. He like, ah! He start backing up. What are you backing up for? At the end of the day, you wanted to fight me. You were so big and bad. You were so huncho, man. Why you keep backing up now? What's up with you? He backs up like 19 times or whatever like that. My sister trying to like defuse the situation, but at some point, I don't care. Like, my sister was above the age. She can go to jail. I can't go to jail, baby. I go sit down somewhere and get signed out. I want to fight. Let's fight. Like, I'm confused. What are we not fighting for? So my sister trying to defuse the situation. The girl like, he started with us. He started with us. No, you started with me when you told me, oh, I better get off at this time. As if I was scared of you and I wasn't, and you try to show off for them people until you figure out I'm not the one. Man. So we end up getting to the top of the hill. I'm like, these motherfucking kids playing with me. I look around, I feel like an animal in a zoo. Everybody recording. Why is everybody recording me? I said, stop recording me. Record me and I'm gonna make you. Everybody phone slowly went like this. Yeah, everybody like this. Ah! I said, stop recording me. Phone went down. Stop recording me. Phone went down. I said, because I wasn't even worried about him at this point because I already know he wasn't on nothing. I put on my mace again. He like, yeah, you got the mace out. My sister's like, I should let him bang you because if I would have put the mace down, the shoes down, the clothes down, if I would have fought you, I, we, we, we would have, I would have won. Everybody got their phone out. It's a mess out there. First of all, don't upload me nowhere. Are you crazy? Why are you uploading me? Don't upload me on your on your social media platforms or try to pass the fight around. No, it's not giving that. So I said, put your phone down. Everybody phone like this. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, put your phone down. I'm going to mace you. All everybody get mace. Ah! Woo! 
everybody get made. So everybody found up going down. The boy ain't want to fight at this point. The girl wanted um, Ruby. Was it Max and Ruby? Ruby and Max. Ruby ain't want to fight no more. She wanted the few situations if I called my mom out there to fight her. That was not my mom. My sister was going to fight you and I was going to fight that boy. Hold on, my mates again. You didn't want to fight. You didn't want to fight with hands. You didn't want to fight at all. I walked home. Now, the guy got to this story is, at this time, my grandma was going to my house. She passes out. So, my grandmother passed out. They got the ambulance out front. I'm like, how, how worse could this day get? I see an ambulance out front. I'm about to fight. Like, what is going on? Like, this is my last day of school. I thought I was supposed to be living it up, living life like it's golden, this not giving golden, this giving hour. Like, I don't know what this is giving. I get inside the house. My arm burning bad because I sprayed the mace and the mace sprayed back, not on me. It did spray my eye a little bit, but it sprayed on my arm mostly. So I'm in the house like taking dish, dish detergent and dish water and trying to wash the mace off my arm. The mace was not coming off my arm. I was like, oh my gosh, this burns. Like, it burnt so bad. It felt like, like, fire was on my arm. The mace that I had was sitting. So the mace sitting for like 9, 10 days, 9, 20 days. Like, that mace was sitting for a very long time. Baby. If I would have sprayed that mace on you, baby, it would have felt like hell. Because it was burning me. It felt like fire ants was on me. I'm washing it. I'm telling everybody the story. I'm like, but they like, what happened? What happened? What happened? I'm telling everybody the story. So I'm like, cool. I got somebody for you. I called my niece. My niece is around the age of whoever that girl was. Mind you, the girl was in like the 10th, 9th grade when she thought she was popping it. I didn't even know that. Cool. So I'm like, I got somebody for you. I got my niece for you. I got somebody that's your age. We're going to fight you. Mind you, I told you I had stopped going to school that Tuesday because that was my last day. But their last day was Friday. And then remind you again, I had told you that the old man and a young man would drive the bus. Our plan was when we see them that Friday, I'm not going to school the rest of this week anyway. I'm done with school. When we see them that Friday, we're going to fight. It comes time to fight. Friday come. We sit at the bus stop. We come down the bus stop. Usually the bus come at like 2 something, 2 18 because we, we went to school at the right time of 6 a.m. and got out at 2. So the bus comes at like 2 18 around the block so we timing it be like okay the bus usually comes at two we're gonna wait for them i'm sitting at the bus stop waiting for them to pull up they pull up to the first bus stop i knock on the bus door boom 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 soon as the bus driver see me walk up against the door the young one he was like please don't do this here so i took it light on him because i'm like okay he would have to write up an incident report it would be too much like but if i fight him not in school what can y'all do? He don't got a rap incident for. He ain't see nothing. I tell Max and Ruby, get off the bus. I got somebody your age this time. Did Max and Ruby get off that bus? No. No, they didn't. Like, please don't do this here. Please don't do this here. I should have ran up on that bus and just dragged them off. That was the whole plan. The plan was to walk up on the bus and just drag him off the bus. Like, come on. Come, Jack, get off the bus. I was at the first bus stop. So we ran around to the third one. It was first, second, third. We said, by the time we get around to the third, we should be seeing him. We get to run to the third bus stop. By the time we got there, he's walking home. Cool. It's time. He was so petrified. He had his friend to come out there with him. As if somebody was scared of his friend. Nobody scared of your friend, boy. You had your sister, right? When it was only me, it was funny, right? When it was only me, it was a kitchen caca, right? When it was only me, it was zoo, right? When it was only me, you went about to pull out their camcorders and record me, right? Now it's your turn, and now you bring your bodyguards. You're weird. He like, ah! I don't want to fight you. I said, fight me now! He ain't want to fight. We look around. My niece standing next to me. His sister's at the door. Boom, 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 boom. Knocking real fast on the door. Put type in her code and trying to get in her door. No, we should have dragged you off that porch. You was scared. She was like, I don't feel like this today. I have a headache. Girl, I don't give a damn if you had a nasami in your head. She runs in the house. The brother standing out there. He trying to act like he ten toes down because his little bodyguard. He ends up so slowly walking to his house. The father comes outside because the sister go gets the dad. And the dad like, get off my property or whatever like that. And I'm like, son, I'm not even on your property. And that's how he is. I said, tell your son to come outside. I want to fight. No, get off my property. He recording with the phone. I'm recording you get off my property. I don't care if you had a helicopter. Where are your parents? Baby, I don't got none. Tell your son to come outside and fight. Son hiding in the house. Scared. Quiet as the church mouth. So he said, he like, get on my property, you on my property, you're trespassing, I'm gonna call the cops. I said, okay, cool, I'm gonna go step in the street. Son wouldn't come outside. Son, there was nowhere to be found. Son was quiet as the church mouth. Boy ended up running in the house, his sister did too, and did not want to fight. I ended up contacting one of the girls, I'm like, yeah, what is that boy Instagram? Because, like, he's coming outside, he don't have no choice but to fight me. I told you he was military. Now, if you know one thing about military, they move a lot. They move around a lot. They either at a different school, different home. They're never in the same place more than... A couple of months. That school year has started. That next school year. I'm waiting to see him on the bus stop. Then. Gone with the wind. First couple of weeks of school. Did not ride the bus. I'm like. Oh he must have moved. Because you know he was a military kid. He came back. The, the third week of the year. Started getting on the bus again. So I ended up seeing him on the bus again. 
Mind you, he's in my way once more again. I said, move. I wouldn't even say excuse me this time. I said, move out my way. He moved. So word on the curb was, I had heard he had got a beating. You got a beating for fighting? They said when he got in the house, I guess his mother got home, she beat Max and Ruby because Max and Ruby thought stuff was sweet. I bring it to your door. I didn't want to fight you at no bus. I bring it to your door. Max and Ruby end up being scared and try to play victim. It was no play no victim over here. And I always wanted them to play me. And I still do to this day. I don't like none. I don't like you. If you watching, I don't like you. And me and her did not ever end up fighting. Because the first time, I was waiting on my sister to come fight. She defeated the situation. The second time, his father came outside and he ran in the house. So it was nobody even catch him. I hope y'all enjoyed this story time. I had a good time telling y'all. Um, They tried to get me. They tried to put me in the cuffs. They tried to put me in jail. Anyways, I hope y'all enjoyed. Make sure y'all subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave a big thumbs up. And some comments and some videos you would like to see. And until next time, everybody. Bye. Don't get jumped. And if you do get jumped, baby, swing. Windmill.